What are some skinny people problems? People always commenting on your weight thinking that they're complimenting you or that it doesn't bother you. STFU about my noodle arms. Don't call me a twig. How about I call you a car and see how you like it. Lost 8 to 10 pounds temperatures that used to be cozy are now kind of chilly. For me it's not being hungry often so I have to force myself to eat on a schedule if I want to gain some weight. We are always cold. I won't last long in a famine. Co-workers or strangers saying things like you need to eat more, you're so small, so lucky you don't have to work out. But then they'll giggle about how you have nothing to look at. It all around actually sucks just as much as being too big emo. You're essentially cold-blooded and take on whatever temperature your environment is. Hot outside? So are you. Freezing? Also you. Having no insulation means heat stroke and frostbite comes easier. You need to eat more is a common thing people say to me. Your tailbone being the butt equivalent of a medieval weapon. I'm always cold. Limiting the amount of shopping I buy because I can't carry it the 10 minute walk home. I'd kiff this counts but as I get ready for dinner I am hungry but when dinner is on the plate I have lost my appetite. I'm 6 2 inches and 130 pounds. It's really hard to find clothes that don't hang off of me. I always had a problem with gaining weight. I have chronic migraine and have found that when I put a bit of meat on my bones it cuts migraine days considerably. I wanted to gain 20 pounds so I might live semi-normally. It took me two years and a lot of very unhealthy eating habits. I'm only just now transitioning back to a relatively healthy diet. Sitting in the car with my friend, who's a bit overweight, and having to listen to her mum tell me I'm lucky and privileged for half an hour. Got annoying quick. You need to have a pillow between your knees when you're sleeping. You're too cold or too hot all the time. Everybody thinks you have an ed. No one thinks it's strange to make fun of skinny people. If I eat a big breakfast, I'm probably not going to eat much for dinner. I don't care how much you say you need to eat more, my stomach is not designed for that and I get intensely sick trying to force feed what you think is a normal amount. Developing poor eating habits, because your metabolism initially allows you to get away with it. Where is the rest of you? We need to put some meat on your bones. That and some general jealousy that I don't have to worry as much about what I eat weight wise. Hell, I had to work for weight gain when I build muscle. It's hard for me to eat enough more to facilitate muscle building and is a conscious effort. But outside of fitness groups I'm not really socially allowed to talk about that as much. That people think it's okay to joke about you being skinny. Like nobody will joke about somebody being fat cause that's mean but if it's about somebody skinny then it's free game. Literally everyone assumes we don't have body image issues. Get a few fat people around and they all bully you for being skinny. There's more food in there. Go eat it. You need it. You're like a twig. Even when you're full to the fucking brim already. Pisses me right the fuck off. Cause the second you start responding to twig with obese fat ass lado, people start crying and you're the bad guy. Fuck fat people go being cold all the fucking time. LOL. Girlfriends don't like laying on a bony person. They are always cold, poor jerks. Needing to add extra holes to your belt so your pants won't fall off. I apparently can't have body insecurities because I'm thin. The response is always shut up, you're skinny. You have nothing to complain about. Finding pants that you don't need a belt to hold up. Cold. So cold. Always cold. Even when I'm hot, I'm fucking cold. Deleted. Hearing you need to eat more. Bitch I eat lots, I just walk afterwards. Skinny shaming. People assume they can overpower you because they are heavier. I hate when women I'm dating try to pull that shit to like why do you need proof? People constantly thinking it's okay to make fun of you because you are skinny. Lots of open body shaming. Since you're not fat they feel like they can make lots of comments about your body and weight. 
How's it's perfectly acceptable to comment on how skinny and small you are in front of a huge crowd, with absolutely no regard towards whether it's something you're self-conscious about. Stop poking my ribs or I swear to god I will poke my knife in your fucking body. Phew, almost lost my cool there. Being called too skinny or comments such as wow, you're so skinny. It's not always a choice. Sometimes it is. Either way, let people be. I'm a skinny and tall male. Long sleeve shirts don't fit. Either arms are too short, medium size, or too baggy and look weird, large size. T-shirts can be equally challenging. Noodle arms. When all your clothes are either too big or not long enough. People are sensitive about making fat jokes, they don't give a fuck about skinny jokes. People piling food on your plate saying eat eat you're too skinny. Being told to gain weight. I am 5 foot and weigh 98 pounds, 100 on a good day I do not fit in grown up clothes. Oh oh pants slide right off. I have to buy clothes for a 12 year old child and nothing is adult enough to wear to work. I don't think people who have even a slightly normal amount of body fat realize how hard it is to keep warm when you're skinny. Searching, failing, for fitted height wasted jeans. But fits but your waist curve says nah. I always have to use a belt, but in the end I always look like a tied up potato sack. I can't be the only person, right? You need to eat more. This one annoys me so much because if I said you should eat less they'd get so angry. Was something wrong with your meal? No, it was lovely, I'm just full. People always telling me to eat a burger and watching how much I eat and how often. Also, because I'm a woman, people telling me to enjoy it now because a baby will ruin my body one day. I weighed 96 pounds, was very short in height, also, in 10th grade. Got my ass waxed in gym class in, any activity. That does not count the bullying, not only from being a skinny ass kid, but, my father being a police officer. I went into the air force at the age of 20 being, a stout 128 pounds. Lost a pound in basic training. I got discharged at 150 pounds. Afterwards I dropped to, 135 pounds. I am now at 210. Enjoy being thin. You will not always be skinny. Feeling guilty about your body type? Got downvoted so I'll add context. As a young teen it's hard to hear people talk about traits you have purely because of genetics and luck like the traits should be put on a pedestal and then for people to say I wish I was like that and feeling kind of out of place. It made me feel guilty when friends would be like oh I'd do anything for a thug app and I knew I had a thug app just because of genes or whatever. Losing an unhealthy amount of weight when you get sick. You go from 115 pounds down to 105 from a bad flu. Finding your size in clothing stores. You either go into high cost name brands spending too much, or you have to get cheaper stuff tailored to even fit you as everything's made for those larger sizes. I went from 200 pounds to 160 and the most noticeable thing is that I'm always cold and I don't enjoy AC anymore. Bras that fit me well are hard to find. Bra companies assume that BC I am skinny, I am flat chested. They are wrong. And as a result, I have to hunt more for bras that fit. I'm not skinny. I am a slightly overweight, almost tall, pear-shaped lady with very muscular forearms. But there are so many times that a fucking extra small women's shirt either fits perfectly or hangs like a tent. What do the actual skinny ladies wear? TLDR shopping for clothes in the women's department rather than the juniors. Being body shamed. When I got married my Phil actually asked me to not wear a two-piece bathing suit so I wouldn't make his other daughters feel bad. Shaming me isn't going to make them have better confidence. Watches look ridiculous on your wrists. If tall, good luck finding pants. Anything with elastic must have drawstrings or they will fail right off. People telling you to eat more lmao. Constantly being asked, aren't you hungry? Or. How can you eat so much and stay so skinny? 
If you don't eat for 6 hours you might just collapse. In older women, osteoporosis. Sure, thin older women may bypass diseases associated with obesity but low BMI is associated with this. I still prefer it to being fat, which grosses me out. Big women with blubber arms, yuck. Cold.